The West Tigers and the North Queensland Cowboys played off in the 2005 Grand Final, with the Tigers coming out winners 30-16 thanks to a pinpoint accurate Scott Prince kicking game, which saw him win the Clive Churchill medal and a resilient forward pack. But who could forget that Benji Marshall flick pass, creating one of the greatest moments in Grand Final history? Richards coming up outside, now inside, Richards pursued, he pushes Jensen away! The Tigers won their first premiership as a merged club, winning their first of the NRL era, as this is greatest game of all, and these are 5 interesting facts about the 2005 Grand Final. Number 5, the odds for a Tigers vs Cowboys Grand Final were 500 to 1. 2005 was one of the most unpredictable seasons in the Coats history, as the 4th place Tigers and the 5th place Cowboys were able to overcome the odds and play off in the Grand Final. Those odds were 500 to 1 at the start of the season, which proves just how unlikely this Grand Final showdown really was. They did earn their spot in the big dance as the Tigers beat the second place Dragons and the Cowboys beat the minor premiers the Eels in the preliminary finals. Number 4, Pat Richards nearly didn't play. Tigers winger Pat Richards was in serious doubt for the grand final after suffering from an ankle injury during the Tigers preliminary final win over the Dragons. He actually played through quite a few partially torn ligaments and had to get 6 pain killing injections. The decision would be made one hour before kickoff and if he didn't play, we may not have witnessed his spectacular try from that Benji Marshall flick pass. Number 3, Benji Marshall went to a party the night before the game. You'll hear a lot about players and coaches about preparation and how important it is to their team's success. Benji Marshall's preparation for the 2005 NRL Grand Final was quite unusual as he actually went to a party the night before the Grand Final. Marshall spoke about this on an episode of NRL 360 in 2015 and was quoted saying, I went to my best man's 21st the night before the Grand Final and left there at midnight. We had this tradition where myself, Robbie Farrar and Dean Hallitow spent the night at his house the night before a game and on my way home, I called them and said, you boys want any cheeseburgers from Macca's? And they thought I was off my head. Marshall would go on to play a crucial role in his team's grand final victory as we know he produced that incredible flick pass to Pat Richards to score just before half time. Number 2, it was the highest TV audience. According to Media Week, the 2005 Grand Final had the biggest NRL Grand Final TV audience with 4,103,000 people tuning in to watch the broadcast. It was the only time a national TV crowd had surpassed 4 million viewers and it also set the record for the biggest Sydney TV audience being 1,188,000 viewers. The 2016 Grand Final surpassed the Metro viewership with 2,647,000 but that was the only Grand Final to come close to 2005. And number 1, Zero State of Origin Players For the first and only time in NRL history, the team that won the Grand Final had no players play in that year's State of Origin series. Brett Hodson and Scott Prince both played Origin before, but neither played in the 2005 series. They did have some international players, with Paul Fatawira, Benji Marshall and Dean Hallitel representing New Zealand, and Scott Prince representing Australia that year. But it's quite unbelievable to think that none of these 17 Tigers players that played in the Grand Final played State of Origin in 2005. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chuck us a like on Facebook, end this video, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.